Hey everybody, good evening. It's evening time here. Yes, good evening. I'll tell you what, today has been a busy day for us. You know, I announced here a while back that I'm building a catamaran out here on the beach and I talked about it in a video clip. I'm starting on a new project. Yeah, I'm starting on a new one. I had told in the past that I wanted to build a catamaran here. And that if I ever got me a catamaran built up, that I would take and probably sell the Sea Ray and just use the catamaran. I just had one one boat to do all. And I would get all the locals here to bring it up and beach it seasonally. And uh, then when typhoon season leaves, put it back out again. And that's your time when it's up on the hard, do maintenance and things. So yesterday i was thinking thinking i'm like you know what i've got my plan down i want to be very budget minded i want to um, build it with a native design i don't want to build it fancy like a production catamaran or anything like that um, i want to keep it really basic uh, basic but usable and I want to stay environmentally friendly with it. Yesterday, on a whim, we got started building this native style catamaran that's eco-friendly, it's budget friendly, um, it's got a lot of native design in it, and I think you guys are going to really like it. Um, I'm telling you guys, you know I want to build something that's uh, built from local material, something that's kind of sustainable. Uh, native, styling. native styling yeah native styling you know and um, nice space on it and stuff mm -hmm. you know these little bonka boats are pretty crammed up and my sea ray is kind of crammed up and so we wanted a catamaran and we wanted something that um, kind of reflect the life that we have here and all so I told y'all that we had started on it and I just haven't been sharing any of the video about it but um, it's done it's out on the water and Mel and I were fixing getting the dinghy and go out there to it right now. It's moored offshore here right now. Um, it's really amazing. And we put solar on it. So it's yes. solar powered. I'm very much excited to the catamaran. Yeah, it's perfect out here for yes. the water. And um, we actually even had a guest that was here um, that he even helped us work on it one day and all. And I told him, shh keep it quiet don't tell you know man, don't you tell did, you did a good job for that catamaran uh, yeah, yeah man and um i'll go over in this video and everything before we're done of what the budget was on it um something though know, that y'all might want to know in case you want to build one like it and all mm -hmm. so right now we're going to go out there to it and hang out on it for a little bit and i want to make sure that my lights are on because it is moored off out there right now and i'll tell you what i'm going to do um I'm gonna show it to you, and then we're gonna work backwards, and I'm gonna show you it being built, and then I'm gonna give you how much it costs for us to build this one badass. God, I'm really Ooh, you're gonna be jealous, <laughs> hating. Don't be hating. Wow, look at that. White and purple. <laughs> White and purple. <laughs> Man, just look at all the things we've created here on this property, Mel. Aren't these beautiful? Check this out, man. Just beautiful. I can see the lights from it out there on the water. Oh, they're, they're laying right up there on the table, the oars. I brought the oars up out of the dinghy so nobody would get them. really excited to go out here and share this with you guys and um, I, I just really hope this is something that can inspire you to you know go after your dreams man fill your dreams don't let nothing stop you and if you work hard enough and long enough for hours you can do it man you just got to put the effort in and put the mindset on it and it's uh, what we did and we've been busting this through and it's just so exciting that today was the day that we got to launch it and get it out there and and uh, see how everything's going on it. Man, it is—it's pretty damn cool. 
So I need to get the dinghy out here. Just lay those in there, Melly. Wow, pretty good waves coming right there. You go ahead and get in. That's, it needs a little weight. You get in, it won't be weaving and bobbing some. <laughs> Look here. Watch this. Just put your oar down for a second. Put your oar down. I put a, a beach line going out right here. See this foam? Yeah, so all you gotta do is pull us in, okay? So I'm gonna get you right here and you grab the line. Don't pull the styrofoams, go go under, there you go. Okay, let me get in. Wait, 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 you're dragging us away. You're kinda anxious. <laughs> I fell on my butt. <laughs> Tow us in. There you go. There you go. I put a tow line out to it. You can see it in the distance out there. Whoop, whoop, whoop. It's hung on my leg. There we go. <laughs> You're taking the fish. <laughs> oh wow, I, we should have a trot line versus shore line. Yeah, just make it a dual purpose. It's already got floats on it. <laughs> so Mel, are you happy with your boat? Uh, you like being out here on the water? And you know, the one thing we didn't tell about this catamaran is it even, even though we're on the ocean, it has a swimming pool with it. <laughs> yeah. So I think it's time to share it with you. So uh, here we go. This is our Philippine version of a catamaran, native built, eco friendly, eco friendly, <laughs> eco. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I tell you, I went broke over this one. Um, I hope everybody's doing well out there. Um, I hope you've been enjoying the videos. So let's get started here. Well.
<laughs> Went broke over this one. Here's my solar power. Yeah, y'all uh, check this out. Here's my, my fine roof. My nice lounging area right here. Up in the, the saloon here. Yeah. Yeah, here's my uh, swimming pool right here in the middle. Oh, you do just a My swimming pool. I got my, my beach bay right here, man. My mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And all for the low, low cost. Are you ready? So, let's walk down here. And show you the catamaran project being built down the beach here so we have plenty of room and there it is that's our native built catamaran right there underway environmentally friendly sustainable flexible low budget I don't know where I'm going to put the captain's quarters at still working on it We'll just figure it out as we go. And you see, we're putting all the important things in, like um, it's got the front bow right here, nice and curved, cut into the wind, no resistance, split the water. <laughs> yeah, top quality build right here, man. I spared no cost in the building materials. Man, that is some of the top notch bamboo it's been tested by some of the best engineering firms and scientists it's stamped and approved look at that all my cross pieces they're all that thick solid bamboo because you want a good strong frame and then my pontoons are the lightweight hollow so you get that good flotation going on lightweight Highly engineered catamaran. It's the best time to be on the waters here. <laughs> yeah, on this high tech little machine here. Uh, my catamaran still under construction here today. This build's taking forever to build a catamaran, you know. Two days of construction here. Well, we got this thing where we're ready to put it on the water. They went through and they shaved all the little rough pieces off the bamboo everywhere we left a little hole to jump through and swim underneath and come up through here in the middle we got two big weights and ropes back here to anchor the out the back side and we're tying some rope on the front to bring up to shore uh, do you think it'll be okay there or will it cut the rope maybe that bamboo is going to cut the rope it's sharp You don't want to, let's put it around this. This is that thick bamboo. That's thin. That might break. It's, but put it right here through this one. It looks smooth. Yeah. Or, or we could put it right in the middle. There's a gap in the middle. Put it, put it here in the middle, right here somewhere. Right here. Put it in this one because it don't have any nylon there. Yeah. <clears throat> This <laughs> joker's long. What, what do you think that is? Maybe, man, it might be about 30 foot long. <laughs> Wilson! <laughs> <laughs> I just need to find me an old porter potty to throw up for a sale. 
that Captain Morgan? <laughs> You like my eco friendly catamaran, man? Awesome. You know how much it costs to build this? Me and Kent, we were figuring it up this morning. We were hanging out out here. And in the bamboo, the nylon, and the labor, I might be out maximum $150. Wow. Yeah, 150 bucks because they didn't take us no time to stitch all this together. So you got a bottle of champagne, you're going to christen it? Well, I was, I was thinking about maybe we need to sacrifice a chicken, you know. Yeah. Native style. <clears throat> Log, you got any chicken at your house? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. But uh but this I just I don't wanna sacrifice mine, I wanna sacrifice yours. <laughs> Save mine. <laughs> Your chicken tastes better. <laughs> yeah, we gotta do a blessing on this. <clears throat> <laughs> mm. Hey, my little nephew's pulling the rope. That's cute. Cute, cute. What's up, little buddy? Good morning, everybody. The the yacht she is uh, continuing on here. Let me show you the upgrades since the last you've seen it. One of the upgrades is uh, we have start building a little roof structure on it here. We got these nice sleek sides down on there, and we got us a little bench over here now, man. First class, you can lay down, sit down, jump up and down, whatever you want to do. Yeah, right here, just chill. And now here's the most viable. When we're out treasure hunting, diving for lost treasures at night. Yeah, we got our solar light. Shining right down in the hole. So we're doing this with a boy. I just 
chase me out and they put their hands in that concrete. We're doing this with one of my old takeoff tires off my 4x4 and we put some bamboo inside and spread it open so it's about spread up about 8 inches bigger than what it would normally be so we can get a lot more concrete inside. And then I have these galvanized eye bolts like they use on the power lines. And we put that through some galvanized steel right there. That square piece has a big plate on the bottom. We drilled a hole. And then that square galvanized piece, we ran rebar through it and we made a cage all inside as well. Wasn't out here to video it. I had put the camera to charge for a while and cooked me a little bit of lunch. So we had some of this old fiberglass laying right here that was cut out of that white boat up there when we were working on it, heavy rope. And they're gonna braid it up on there. And uh, then we're going to drop that joker out there and there it'll be. But it'll probably sit here on here for a couple of days while it's going through some curing and we're doing some more work here on this. The, all the bamboo, the nylon, the styrofoam, the netting, the solar light, the rope, the, the mooring block, all of it. I spent a whopping in materials, the whole massive budget to be out on the open ocean exploring my life as I want it to. Look at that. Hello, hello, oi. <laughs> <laughs> about 200 US dollars <laughs> about 200 US dollars man yeah if you're asking yourself how well one long stick of bamboo is about 90 to 95 pesos and like all that were male standing that's um, one stick cut in half or actually three times so that's there's 95 pesos about two dollars right there and there these long ones um, the nylon it's all stitched together with cheap and strong the styrofoam that's wrapped inside of a netting so the fish can't eat it or anything underneath the floors it's a, that's all out of that old white boat that we made the cement floor in it had big styrofoam blocks that was inside of that boat and now they're underneath this wrap on uh, this raft uh, this catamaran, I mean my, 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 shoot, I forgot, my luxury yacht. Now they're supporting my luxury yacht. With, with pool. With pool. pool. Yeah. And mermaid. And mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, scrap bamboo that we had sitting around. And uh, I've had several viewers here that was around while we started building it, and I asked each viewer, Shh, don't tell. <laughs> yeah, and so um, it's it's moored out with a very heavy block. It took every single one of us all we could do to move that block, man. And it's moored out right here offshore. Then it has a line with floats going all the way back to the shore because. Um, this area right here is going to get netted in anyway that you do as a resort for safety for your swimmers against like boats caution you know to keep boats from running over them uh, it marks for safety it marks it also um, and protects somebody getting drug away with like a, a tide or you know a rip current or anything like that so it's going to be plant it right here within our zone of our swimming area and it's a swim deck platform for all of our uh, guests to hang out on it's gonna be a seasonal thing it didn't cost much to build it um, eventually you know it'll it'll get wore out and succumb and I will either pull it in and recapture the bamboo and repurpose it or if a storm grabs it before then well the locals get a bunch of free bamboo and they like that too <laughs> right Mel <laughs> during like a storm people was just always uh, waiting you know and grabbing stuff for free you know absolutely 
you need to do is secure your stuff before that uh, things happen. But we do have our luxury uh, dinghy ride over okay. here, though. <laughs> luxury. Our luxury little dinghy right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So here it is, man. You can see, I'll step over here to the other side, and you can see our nice uh, little salon up in here, man. You can hang out. You want to jump we need to give it a name if any of y'all want to get, uh, comment down below and tell what this beautiful beast's name should be. Yeah, the conqueror of the seas with a custom swimming pool. And that is cool. This light is drawing up uh, fish. And this old solar light, um, we sacrificed it to be out here because, let me show you something. I don't know if you can see it or not, but well, maybe if I got it right, about half of the lights inside this one don't work anymore. And, uh, but it's still pretty bright, even with half of them working. Yeah, yeah, it's still working. And so it's kind of on its last leg anyway. We've had it for years. It's been out here by the seashore for years, really getting abused by the salt. So uh, that's it's a pretty nice lot to have out here. But we are going to put a flasher on, on it out here. We got a battery operated flasher that all these boats everywhere in the Philippines use. You're doing it wrong, my love. You're going to end up here. You're going to end up dropping it in the water. Crank this down. There you go. And then it'll come on here in a second. Well, i got a flashing light on here. So if the solar light plays out, that right there, it'll stay going. And use that solar light. It'll burn pretty much all night, though. Pretty much all night. Puts out some good light right there too, doesn't it, man? Really got it lit up out here. That's cool though that it's attracting the fish. We thought it probably would. This would be a good place to sit out here and fish at night, wouldn't it? Yeah. It would. Yeah, little fish all in there. They're thick. Wish the camera would get them. Yeah, a whole bunch of small fish. Wow. Woo! Got me right in the eye. Yeah, bring it. Our lines, well, you know, they catch nice fish right here just barely off the shore like this all the time. Yeah. And look at that. Yeah. That's exactly right. A little fun time. Well, there we are. Is the casa right up there? And uh, ought to be pretty enjoyable. There's a lot of holiday stuff coming up right now. We've got. Um, we got our fiesta coming and we're gonna hold fiesta at our house. We have our anniversary coming. Woo -woo. Yeah. So you know somebody here while y'all here a while back, I just told about um, how long Mel and I've been together and I don't know if why everyone thought that I was saying like it's our anniversary that day. You remember everybody was writing happy anniversary and I'm like, I never said it was our anniversary. But our anniversary is coming up here in a few weeks. And uh and at the same time, it's Holy Week, right? Fiesta. Fiesta is the same time as our anniversary. Holy Week is going to be next week. Yeah, next, next week. Month, uh, our anniversary and Fiesta. And Fiesta. Yeah. And the beach will be so busy. Yeah. Yeah, it's so okay. busy. It is, uh, my is always a beach day, you know, it's a beach Yeah. So it's just perfect timing to have this out here. Experience or yeah. Oh, yeah. No, 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 catamaran. Yeah, custom catamaran. Catamaran. Come and join you guys. Woo, I blew you out right there. Wow. Wow, look at the mermaid. Wow, wow, wee. 
Welcome and visit Texas Philippines Beach Resort. <laughs> and you can experience the luxurious native catamaran. I can feel it in my bones I'm nothing to ask a moon Got me looking like a clown Time to always slide it down Tell me I'll be what I eat Can I do that? I got my needs Rose the door and kill the sound Time to always slide it down huh? I can tell you're a dancer Throwing your hands in the air